Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to SimTech channel. This is tutorial number two on how to create a Telegram bot, basically using a Python script. We will be making use of an API. And Raspberry Pi here is basically the server in which our bot will be running from. Okay, so the previous tutorial, we created a bot application here using a bot fader and we generated a token then with this simple uh, script here we were able to open the token and print it on the screen that is after we store the token into the file system of our raspberry pi so if you this is the first time you're watching this tutorial please catch up and watch part two and so that you can get to the point where we are all right okay so now to continue where we left off so what we're going to do is we're going to install the python api that basically that's the one that's going to do the job for us to run the bot so this is the api that we need to install into our raspberry pi system here now as you can see now remember you can also do this on a computer if you do not have a raspberry pi so all you have to do is basically to do everything that we are doing here onto a computer uh, windows or linux machine right so i'm going to go ahead and basically type the script here so that i can install my python dash telegram dash bot dash dash up upgrade and then hit enter if there is no mistake in there i should be able to roll in and start installing my telegram api now this will depend on your internet speed if you've got a good connection this should uh just take a few seconds to complete you have to have pip installed onto your machine if in order for you to run this command so if you don't have pip installed you can run the sudo command so that is sudo apt right install right python 3 dash pub now as you can see i actually had it already installed but it is requiring that i upgrade it so let's go ahead and just do the upgrade perfect so we are done here this link here basically give us all the details or documentation you're going to find the resources on how to use this api after you basically done installing so all the commands and how to use it you can uh, basically familiarize yourself before we move forward please guys if you like uh, this tutorial you find it useful please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel and also if you come across an ad on this channel please uh, give it a chance and watch the ad for at least a couple of seconds 10 20 30 seconds that will be highly appreciated that is how i get a little bit of support from youtube thank you so much for your support indeed okay now moving forward here to use the api so we're basically going to call the command from okay so from telegram dot ext we're going to import the update right we're going to import the update and command handler so the update and command handler here are basically the two that we're importing from the api to help us manage the bot environment so uh, i'm going to write a snippet code here and i'm going to basically explain a little bit what it's actually going to uh, perform for us so we're going to create a variable and we're going to call this variable updater and that is equal to the updater that we are actually importing here so you have to differentiate this updater with the lowercase and with the one with the uppercase later so that's going to be updater okay then we passing the parameters to the updater so that's going to be token is equal to now this token is obviously where we are storing the token okay so if you watch the previous tutorial you saw that we store the token into this location and here we are basically calling it okay so that is a simtech bot is holding the value of the token go simtech simtech bot like that okay 
right so now we've got the updater that is updating us on what's going on so the next thing is we're going to create another variable that basically is going to send the information that's uh, being updated so we can say sender okay sender is equal to what the updater is basically updating okay updater dot sender okay now after getting the update and assigning it to the sender variable here where are we actually going to send it well we're going to say well sender you your task now is basically to send it to a function that basically is going to take your information that you have and send it to whoever needs that information so we're going to say sender dot add underscore handler and then in this handler here this is where we're now going to call the command handler so command handler and in the command handler we're then going to pass the parameters of what we will be expecting so that we can pass the information so let's say we are expecting uh, a user command so we say user is going to write something okay we're going to expect a keyword user now we need to create a function that is going to handle the keyword user so we can just say user handler right so now just to recap here we just created a variable called updater and we are getting the token so that we can run our bot okay and then we calling now the sender so that it can send information that's are being updated okay now to send information we need a function that is going to handle it that's where we call calling the command handler function and we want to handle information from keyword user okay so now we can now go ahead and create a function that is going to handle what we just created right so this here is basically a callback we handle that we just created so we need to then now go ahead and create the function that will be called okay based on that callback so we're going to go ahead and say dev user handler right now inside the user handler we need obviously we need two parameters here so the parameters will basically be the update that we are receiving and the topic that we actually need to send so we're going to say update okay and then topic right now into our function now the way this function is structured is obviously what the documentation here is telling us how to implement it so there is no other way so we're going to say topic that bot that send underscore message now we need to pass the information for that message now remember the message is going to be sent where into a chat here okay so what we need then from there is we need a chat id okay now the chat id okay is obviously every uh group here like this one is a group and it has an id a user has an id okay so we are in the chat so we need the id for that particular group so according to the api documentation we need to say update that effective okay underscore chat that id then we need to pass another parameters that basically will be the topic okay so the topic is obviously uh what you are basically going to send so that will be your text okay so the text here you can choose whatever you want to basically write there i'm going to say hi from simtech right so now we've got our function that's basically is going to handle uh the update and send information so we will be sending the hi to the user id which will basically receive the token that is linked to this chat id here right so from here as per the api documentation we have to start polling so polling is basically we are now standing by uh checking constantly if there is something so we are just there checking checking just we are just circling around and seeing if there is any change or any update so to call the polling we're going to say updater dot start underscore polling 
okay so now this will allow us to start checking if there is something happening into our chat environment okay then while we are watching and polling here we can basically just print a message onto our screen and in that message we can basically just say well simtech simtech what simtech bot is watching okay great now since we are polling so obviously after polling we cannot just continue polling sometimes we have to come and rest and then we poll and then we rest so to do that we're going to call updater that idle okay so this is all information that are given by the api documentation right so from here we can basically go ahead and give this a try so let's me go ahead and run this application so let's see what's happening okay so we've got a problem here what is happening let's just look at this error quickly here it says cannot import name commander handler okay no it should not be commander handler this should be command handler so we have to remove the er there so let's go ahead and run this again one more time okay whoops Right, so basically this unexpected keyword argument token so token is supposed to be a keyword right so we are using it here now the api is obviously is complaining right so a quick search right on google here i've copied the error and then this is what i'm getting from stack overflow so this gentleman here is basically saying he's the one who's currently maintaining the Python Telegram bot. So he said you should revoke the token that you just posted. So I've tried to revoke the token and it didn't work. Okay. So now let me then try this one out if maybe this will work. So this basically means I need to downgrade the current version of the Telegram bot that I'm using. Okay, so let's me give this a try and then we will see if that's going to work. Hey guys, I'm back. So I basically did uh, follow the instruction from the Stack Overflow link where they basically suggested that you have to uh, downgrade your Telegram bot. So if you are running this application now, you will probably be using uh, a new version so a new version of the api have some issues so you have to um, downgrade to an older version so i hit this command which basically has to downgrade to version 13.7 as per the stack overflow uh, instructions and it went through all the collections and download and right here it says uninstall python telegram 20.3 so it basically successfully uninstalled that version and that was after installing the older version okay then after that i ran it and then this problem with the keyword token was gone then i encountered another problem which i was using another keyword here sender which apparently according to the api that uh, sender there was no attribute for that keyword so that basically i needed to change it so I was using a word sender instead of a dispatcher. So then I realized, okay, well, I went into the API. So basically I, I did some uh, searching into Google. Then I see the implementation. So the update here, as we can see here, that update object has no attribute. So remember, we imported, right, update and command handler. So the update had no attribute sender. So you have to use dispatcher as per the API requirement. So that basically uh, what I did and then gave it a run. Okay, as you can see now. So we are still printing our token here, which is not a good thing. So basically I need to comment it out so that we don't print it. So now we know that our bot is basically polling, watching whatever activity that's going on around the chat group here. Okay, so what are we looking for? We are looking for the user keyword. So if we get the keyword user, then the command handler is going to then call callback this function, the callback. So the function here we are now implementing as per the chat ID. Okay, we're then going to send a text high from Simtech as soon as we detect the 
keyword user so now i'm going to come here i'm going to uh now remember these must be used as implemented by the chatbot so every keyword used here you have to first use the forward slash before you can implement it so if i say forward slash if i say start okay and obviously because my bot here is not expecting the keyword start so nothing is happening so for me to trigger a response i have to say forward slash user and enter now we should get a response from the bot as you can see hi from simtech okay so the bot is indeed responding right so this program is quite very simple now remember if the bot is not watching right if the script is not running you can hit your your user here command okay you're not going to get a response because the bot is not running so your bot must be running okay the bot must be running so that simtech is watching only when simtech is watching then you can enter the command now you can see that the command was sent now simtech is watching and automatically as soon as simtech came online he realized that there was a message now simtech is responding to the message right so i'm going to stop this tutorial here okay so next tutorial we're going to uh, create another program or basically uh, another handle here that will basically uh, allow the bot here to send messages without waiting for uh, a user to first send something so as you can see right now nothing is happening because the user is not sending anything all right so i'm not sending anything the, the bot is also not responding so we need to create an application another handle that will tell the bot to actually just send messages without waiting for anyone else input so that is something you have to look out for the next tutorial until next time stay tuned thanks for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel until next time cheers